surgery is happening in 20 days. Hopefully we're in the right place, maybe. Hello, it's um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know, but now I'm wearing a Christmas sweater and I don't remember this one being this gigantic last year, but I pulled out the old trusty Santa sweater. I was going to wear one that's like an actually ugly Christmas sweater. I mean, not that this one's not, but I didn't feel like getting it down and I don't think there's re <coughs> really anything else to update on other than we kind of aren't sure really what's going on with my breathing. N not that we knew before what was happening to it either. We thought it was an asthma problem. <coughs> but I don't think that's what it is anymore because I've been on the antibiotics. I think I'm almost done with that. And so that whole situation should be dealed with or dealt with but um the breathing still keeps happening and it seems to be getting worse at night and I'm not in focus but you know I guess my camera doesn't want to do that today um it's getting worse at night so then like what do we do about that because I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it but it seems it's kind of like when I get those weird, I don't know what you call it, it's about 7 to 10 days where I am just not, and my, like the last time that happened, I we changed something teeny tiny in my life, and my entire body and my entire world is like put in a blender. So. We did, we had to eardrops at one point for an infected ear canal, and I got anaphylaxis for seven nights from that. Like, what the heck? And we don't really know what's going on, but then, like, my body just evens out, and then uh, suddenly I feel better, and then it stops happening. And so, I mean, I know what the itty bitty thing is that we changed this time is that we went to Maryland, which I'm hoping that's not the case, and I, it really is just asthma and not my body throwing a fit because it can because um this is annoying so i i've been nebulizing like twice a day i did it earlier today and then i was doing homework and i heard i could hear myself breathing like <laughs> Not exactly like that. I obviously wasn't making that sound, but it sounded all gurgly in my chest and it was gross. And anytime I take a deep breath right now, I can, it just, I can feel it in my chest. It's all tight and gross. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that, but, um, Friday we go to get my eyes checked again in San Francisco. I hate getting my eyes checked. I don't know who, which one I hate more, my eyes or getting my teeth checked. But my teeth are having some, are just like moving all over the place and it's weird. Like these ones have all moved back pretty much, the bottom ones from my wisdom teeth. But the, the top ones are just like, what is this? It, I swear this gap is getting bigger by the day. And then also this, sorry, my tooth that was eroding away. It, it, I line it, I taught a lot on teeth. It kind of looks like a hole. There it is. There's the hole. So, bye. See you guys later when, I don't know, I either actually move from the floor of my room or I'll just see you tomorrow. Bye. Many hours later, but, um, <clears throat> it's been a very chill day for the big announcement of surgery is happening in 20 days but more like 19 because time change and it's almost 
well, it's nighttime here, and I need to take my night meds, so I need to remember to do that once I stop talking to you. It's scheduled for the 26th. So, unfortunately, that does mean that we will be missing Thanksgiving, which, I mean, do, do I really care about that? Not really, because Christmas is, like, a month later anyways, and Christmas is not just about food, and because I don't think anybody really celebrates Thanksgiving for what it really was originally started for, we just kind of use it as an excuse to eat a lot more food than you ever should eat at a single in a single day and and get together with our fam and the usually we have it at our house but this year it's already not planned to be at our house because of Zeus's um, chemo and all that they don't want to bring all the germs into our, our house and then try to get all the germs out later so it won't be at our house this year but schedules on it's on the 26th, which is crazy that that's only 19 days away. And then we should be getting back in the beginning of the beginning-ish of December. Not like the really beginning, but before Nolan's birthday, which is the 12th. Which I feel bad that my health has pretty much been this giant elephant in the room. Uh, like hanging over his birthday celebrations for the past four years so 2016 that was the first year my body really like just fell apart completely my the ndph started three days i think before his birthday or no it started i think on the 7th i can't really think straight right now so that was like five days before but um we didn't really know what was happening at the time. All we knew is that I had this terrible headache and couldn't move. And I've gotten a lot better than I was then in that I deal with the pain a lot better. Because then I was just laying there like, ah! <laughs> for seriously days on end. And then that year things got really bad after Christmas. But I mean, what can I do about that? But then... So then 2000, that was 16, 17, I had a colonoscopy on the 7th. Uh, that day apparently is not a good day for me, but I had it on the 7th. And uh, the whole stress of that on my body, and then that was the one that we ended up in the ER because they were worried that they like caused a terrible bleed or something inside of me because I was in so much pain that I couldn't even breathe. Um... That all caused me to lose a lot of weight, and I was at a dangerously low weight, so everybody's, like, stressed out and freaking out, because that was the same fall, winter-ish that I ended up in the eating hospital, because I just couldn't eat anymore. It was just too painful. And then, that's already up to last year. Last year, I got the collar two days before his birthday, so I his birthday dinner on his actual birthday we went out to eat and then we we're sitting there and we're all super awkward and self-conscious about it and so that everybody else is really awkward and self-conscious about this and so yeah and at that time i wasn't used to like talking with it on or eating with it on so anytime i would talk i was like and then and then, and then this year i if we are home on his birthday, which I, I'm hoping we are because that's, I think, 16 days after surgery. And I'm not really planning to have any complications which make us have to be there longer. Um, I will be freshly home from surgery and then everybody in the fam is going to be all wanting to know how it went when we have his birthday celebrations. Which this year he'll be turning 18, which is crazy. Because, yeah. He's now, oh, he will be, actually currently he is now older than I was when my body stopped cooperating with us. Which, by, by when I, me and my mom, it stopped cooperating. It's not like it ever really was cooperating. It was just not, not cooperating as much. So I was still, like, in control of every all of my 
emotions and expression of pain and everything and pretty much just hit it and was like i'm fine it's fine but it wasn't i was like a little bunny hopping through a minefield <laughs> all that time because any little thing could cause a ton of pain picking up my backpack walking sitting standing my junior i coughed so hard that i broke a rib at school so it, and i dislocated it so it was just a really bad situation hello vlog happy thursday <clears throat> i have been editing the vlogs from when we were in Maryland and I think that the ones where we go to the, the um, museum is pretty funny because I pretty much narrate <laughs> what we're looking at the entire time that we're there and it's just kind of funny. Um, My back is hurting a lot but we are going to San Francisco tonight I think. Because I think, we're, well, I don't really know where we're staying, but we're probably staying in San Francisco somewhere because I have the neuro ophthalmology appointment at 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Yay! No. Um, like, you're probably wondering, why are you still having this appointment? Because they're pretty sure that the eye rolling back is the um is me passing out well we don't really know for a hundred percent sure if that is what is causing that and then and it, again well we're really not sure what's coming from my neck and what's just a problem in general but my field of vision is very quickly like narrowing in on me so we're gonna uh, talk about that tomorrow well, good thing i don't drive or anything because that would be super dangerous but we're going tonight so i need to pack some stuff for tonight and i'll probably i need to take a bath before we leave because i mean i've been wearing this for a few days and i mean i got something nasty on my sleeve and i don't even do anything so i don't know what that is but i'm gonna work on some more homework and then i do need to email all my all two of my professors online and then also both disabilities offices just to let them know like hopefully I end up finishing out the semester if not like thanks for sticking with me so far I guess um I should be able to finish it it should be fine because I don't think that this surgery is going to put me out of commission for too long because, I mean, my teeth, I jumped back the next day. Well, I, I laid on the couch and felt like death, but not from the teeth. I felt like death because I couldn't take any of my normal medications that help my body, you know, like, do the things the bodies do. So I'm gonna work on this. Hopefully I finish this today. I don't know why I came back in here, but I started my new med this morning, like three-ish hours ago. And I don't know if it's the new med or just it happens to be today that I feel like there is so much pressure inside my head, it hurts. But not like the front of my head, the back part of my head just feels like somebody's standing right there with a bike pump like <laughs> So, hopefully this is not a side effect of the new med because this is supposed to be, this has been the hoped for, like, I don't know, fix to my body. At least this is what my doctor thinks is going to happen is that I'm going to get a lot better on it, but I don't know yet because the only change I really noticed is that my head hurts more and... Anyways, the med is really, really sour. It's weird because it's not like bitter, but it's a liquid. And oh my gosh, I should show you the teeny little syringes that it that I take it in because it's a very teeny little med. Where is it? Ready? Ah! And I take two and a half 2.5 so like that much do you see where my finger is so tiny well 
Um, those oranges. I don't know. I don't really care. It doesn't taste that bad. I only have to do it once a day. So, anyways, I'm going to try to be productive, even though I'm not very. Hello, vlog. It's, I don't know, nighttime, and I'm at the hotel because, holy moly, really dizzy just now. Um, we have my neuro-ophthalmology appointment and it's at eight o'clock in the morning. So we're, it's in San Francisco, so we're staying at a hotel. I think we're in San Mateo right now. And it's at a really giant hotel. And then we got upgraded because they're doing construction on like this entire hotel. So you had to ride a service elevator to get here, I think. But um, that means that we have a couch. And then a bedroom also, which is through that door, which uh, I think my dad went to go eat dinner or something because I ate dinner before we left the house and my tongue has been super hurting me. And then I ate pineapple, so that didn't really help. And then on the way here, I was just crying because my head just has been hurting a lot. All day, I'd say it's been just kind of worse than normal. But then I got in the car and it just got like a million times worse because the lights from the other cars going the other way and then the lights from our dashboard were just shining in my face and it just wasn't good. I don't know if the, the light sensitivity thing, it's not getting worse, I'd say, but it isn't getting better either. Like other than the improvement from that one week where I just could not even, like I couldn't go anywhere without sunglasses because it felt like just even the light coming from you was blinding me. Um, but what was I saying? I don't know. Well, I did the nebulizer once we got here and my head feels better. So I don't know if that was like a lack of oxygen to the brain headache or what, because I can breathe a lot better now. I, I don't, I can't tell when my body is breathing worse. So then I just don't nebulize because I'm like, it's fine. I'm fine, but I'm not. And then I end up nebulizing later and it'll feel a lot better. My breathing is kind of whistly still, and I don't know why, because speaking of which, I need to take my night pills because it has my antibiotic in it, which I think it's the last day, and I have my steroid in it too, so. Bye, I'll see you in the morning. I'm tired. I'm probably, I'm going to bed. I don't even know if we're at the right place, but we're at a UCSF building. And he's running inside to make sure that we're at the right place before we unload me and then and we and I don't think we have Wheelie with us. No, we have Wobbly with us. Um Mike, are you ready for this? I end up talking like this a lot and no one laughs at me. Oh my mouth is so dry, but what is that? Why is that building like hanging off the cliff? That's terrifying. I don't, I hope I never end up in that building. Watch that view where we're supposed to be going today. <laughs> I kind of feel like, well, we just navigated here on like Google, but it kind of looks like we are either at a, where they like, teach or <laughs> are in staff parking because um, while well, there's construction right there, and then it says staff parking. But hopefully we're in the right place, maybe. Hello vlog, my eyes are being currently dilated. I don't know if you can tell because my eyes are really dark. I can't tell, but they did get numbed today, so my eyelids feel all crusty. <laughs> but apparently my eyes are light sensitive because my eyelashes are scratching my eye. So, I don't know what we're going to do about that, but um, their eyes are being dilated so later we can see. Because we don't even know why my vision is like, Phew! but instead of a lot, I think when we came in the, in the summer, my vision was going this way, but now it's going this way. So, hmm. Hello. <laughs> we're done with the appointment. And it seems that 
it is not my eyes that are the problem. <laughs> the loss of the field of vision apparently is my eyelid being in the way. Uh, <laughs> Which it pr probably is that this eyelid does sag a bit, and that's probably what I'm seeing. And then we're gonna, apparently my eyelashes have been scratching my eyeball. So we're doing artificial tears and some sort of ointment in my eye at night. And then we're coming back in two months and we're bringing or sending a copy of my last brain MRI from Stanford which we were supposed to do <laughs> for this appointment, but we forgot. Well, we didn't even know where we were going for this appointment, which by the way, it is the same building as my usual eye appointments. It's just somehow we ended up in like staff parking. And uh, we're hoping that the whole like eye rolling back situation and all of those things are helped by my neck surgery, which is happening in 18 days, which is crazy to say, but we're hoping for that. So in, cause she was originally wanting us back here in a month, but we won't even be back in California. Well, hopefully we will be, but probably not. Um, in one month, no, we wouldn't be because the surgery is on the 26th and today is like the 8th. We will be coming home the next week after that. So anyways, we're coming back here in two months and hopefully the, the everything is doing better and my eyes quit rolling back up into my head <coughs> after the surgery. And then we probably won't have to come back here. Well, we'll probably come to that appointment and then we won't have to come back here. Which then, th this is my actually my last doctor's in San Francisco, surprisingly. Uh, especially after how many times we used to come here. So, we are going to get him lunch, and then, um, car is backing out right there. Um, uh, and then we are going to park and have a phone call from Maryland for the surgery, which they're probably just going over details of the surgery and hopefully i understand what they're saying and it makes sense to us and we are like okay well we are i think i already signed the paper to have the surgery done anyways i can't see what you can see but i think you can see the ocean we are stopped off at ocean beach where he's gonna eat lunch. <laughs> well, he picked up lunch on the way here. And then we're waiting for the call from Maryland for the surgery call. And I'm gonna drink Neocates. And hopefully my eyes become undilated soon so that I can type out an Instagram post on our way home. I can't remember if I talked to you when we were at the beach or not, but we got out of the car and took some pictures on the sand that was like right next to our car. And then, well before that we had the call with the, the scheduling person or the nurse or whoever from the neurosurgery office. And we went over the, I don't know what they call that thing. It, the pre-surgery whatever which basically is just telling us like the risk of death and um, how long they want us to stay over there and you can't, they can't guarantee that you'll get better afterwards and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we already signed the papers to do surgery anyways and, and faxed them over or emailed them over. So, um, they, Pretty much what I gathered from the conversation was after our, after the post-op appointment that's like a week after surgery is done, there's nothing like stopping us from leaving Maryland to come back home, but it's also not recommended, so we'll probably stay somewhere between that time and 
staying like two and a half weeks later. So probably end up staying like a little more than a week. Um, now we're headed home and I don't know, what freeway is this? 280. We're on the 280, but it looks, well, that's truck, but it looks like we're in the hills and you can't even tell that all the Bay Area stuff is on the other side of this. Um, well, it's kind of like a berm, but not. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Anyways, we're going home and it's Friday, so hopefully there's not that much traffic because it's only like two o'clock, but there probably will be. There's links up here. The bad part about driving at sunset is that it's like raining bugs on our windshield. And then he turned on the windshield wipers and just smeared it all. So now it looks beautiful. You can see that on the video. Yeah.